just found out my wife cheated after 21 years of marriage, don't know what to do next. I've been unwell for three days and haven't slept. Please bear with me since I seldom use social media. My wife, 46 female, and I, 48 male, have been married 21 years, together 23 years, and have a 22-year-old kid. We've been experiencing some issues for the last year or so, and she's shown very little closeness or love in recent months. Unfortunately, I travel frequently for work, but I've recently tried to make things better by taking time off and making an extra effort to engage her, give her back rubs, hugs, and affection, but she just became more and more distant, eventually turning me down the last couple of times I tried to initiate. In the first 20 years of our marriage, she has never turned me down for any kind of intimacy. I've also been suspicious since she never puts her phone down and keeps it hidden. I eventually up the courage to check the phone bill and lo and behold, she's been calling and messaging numbers I don't know. There are thousands of messages dating back to last year, sent at all hours of the day and night, even on vacations. I felt something was up when I saw this, so I sat her down and challenged her about it. She said it was purely an emotional affair with no physical contact, only talks and flirtation. This person comes into her office on a daily basis, but I've never met him. I was saddened, but I thought there had to be more to it, so I looked into it. He seems to be using various phone numbers to accomplish this, but after some careful investigation, I discovered his identity, social media, job title, assistant veterinarian, and some other facts. After a few days, I confronted her with all I had discovered, and she denied, denied, denied until I threatened to go public. She finally acknowledged it was a physical affair that had been going on for quite some time, at least six months. She said she only had physical contact with him once, but when I questioned her for specifics, she couldn't recall when it happened. Right. After her gaslighting and lying to me for so long, I can't believe it occurred only once. Oh my god, what a jerk I've been. This is absolutely a deal breaker for me. We had what I believed was a wonderful marriage until lately, but who knows how long she has been tampering with us. We agreed to split and work on ourselves at first, but when she confessed to having with him when questioned a few days later, I told her we needed to divorce. We have no small children and no substantial assets, she's had serious medical concerns, so we sold everything we'd worked hard for to pay for doctors and therapy, so the divorce procedure is very straightforward here, she has agreed to leave this week and wants to live with a single friend with children and sleep on her sofa. She claims the new man has four roommates, so she won't be living with him, but I don't believe her anymore. I'm at a loss on what to do next. Because we've been together for almost all of our adult lives, the pain and betrayal has left me extremely broken up. I'm genuinely mourning the marriage, and I hoped we'd be able to work through it, but there's no turning back now. I'm very close to my son, and he is outraged that she has been cheating on him, but he clearly still loves his mother. This is where I could really benefit from some guidance. I really want to blow this thing up and tell our family and friends why we're breaking up. She is frightened that I will make everything public and has pleaded with me not to since it may ruin his life, and he's a lovely man, except for wrecking marriages in his spare time. I know where he works and am considering informing others in his life about what is going on since he has completely wrecked my marriage and my life. My kid wants me to simply terminate things with her and not make a big deal out of it. He claims that if I go public about their adultery, I would be lowering myself to their level, but this has damaged my heart as well as our marriage, and I am becoming more enraged. Should I go public with them? Anyone have any suggestions on how I should go about this? Or are there any resources that might assist me in resolving this? How will I ever be able to trust again? Sorry for the lengthy, meandering post, I'm feeling a little out of it to be honest. Thank you ahead of time. Edit, many thanks to everyone who provided encouragement and suggestions. Right now, my kid is my first priority. He has just ended his relationship with his first love, who cheated, so the timing is terrible. I want to follow his desires, but I've decided that at the at least, I'll inform our close friends and family, which will annoy my son, but after this treachery, I'm not going to allow her the opportunity to just conceal her acts and brush it all under the rug. I too feel the need to out my wife in order to keep some self-respect, and it's a lesson I hope my kid learns as well. Nothing he or I did could ever justify this betrayal of our family. I requested her to kindly simply pack her belongings and go, she accepted and would leave today. Also, we are just filing a joint petition for divorce, we have no assets other than some medical bills, which we will divide, so there is nothing else to argue over. There will be no alimony or child support. I have the divorce papers completed and notarized and will file on Monday. Edit number 2, following some angry PMs, I booted her out of the home six days ago and informed both of our family and friends. She is allegedly living on the sofa of a friend and using her address. 
it doesn't really matter to me anymore since I'm just concerned with myself and my immediate family. I'm leaving a forwarding address since I'm relocating to a new apartment in 10 days. If I approach the man, there's a strong possibility I'll wind up in prison, so we're focusing on the future. Thank you again to everyone who commented or messaged me with nice and encouraging remarks. Story 2. Do cheating wives ever worry about getting caught? My question is not intended to demean or shame any women who have cheated on their partners. Perhaps I'm preoccupied with karma, which caused me to contemplate something I'd never considered before. Throughout my 20s and 40s, I vowed to myself that I would remain single. I drew a lot of female attention and was pleased with my way of life. I did a lot of physical activity, and the gym was a terrific location to meet other women, especially married ones. Why are married women given preferential treatment? For the simple reason that they made no attempt to build a relationship with me. There was also a sense of thrill associated with the restriction. However, I am now a married woman. I'm not concerned about my wife cheating on me, but if she does, I'll know I've done something wrong. For many years, I was referred to as the other guy. I was never requested to wear a condom by any of the married women with whom I had relations. It comes to mind three ladies who fell pregnant after having with me, and while they all said that their husband was the father, they would have had to have conceived the child within a few days of having relations with me to be considered legitimate. When I arrived to the gym, one of the gym girls snuck me in by picking me up a block away and drove me into her adjacent garage. After that, we had some in their bed. And further person said she was heading to Walmart, but instead showed up to my residence. One woman invited me to accompany her and her husband for a date, and she insisted on my accompanying them in the car. So I quickly bent her over and finished inside of her after she informed him that she wanted to go to the toilet. I also paid a visit to another married couple at their house. His wife didn't seem to be interested, which was disappointing since I loved her husband. Approximately an hour after I departed, she called to tell me that I had left my ID at their house and that her husband had passed out, so she would drive it over to my location. When I hung off the phone, I went through my wallet and discovered my identification. Her goals were clear from the time I walked through the door. Another married woman with whom I had relations was fully aware that I had had relations with two of her husband's sisters. During a night out, I happened to run into her and her husband, and she was also joined by her recently divorced mother. My mother was 40 years old at the time, and I was 24 years old at the time. This resulted in my having an encounter with her mother that night, and I'm not sure how the daughter didn't notice, but she continued to have encounters with me after that. They have been married for 19 years and are still together. Some women justify their infidelity by making negative remarks about their husbands. Others never attempted to rationalize their want to go. Several of these females had just divorced, which may have contributed to their desire to roam. On the other hand, several of the women I had relations with 10 to 15 years ago are still married. I recently ran into the ID woman, and when her husband turned his back on me, she winked at me, which made me laugh. I didn't pay attention to her since I adore my wife and would never cheat on her. What astounds me is that these women do not seem to care about their spouses in the least. However, the manner in which most of them cheated on me was very disrespectful to their marriages.